triathlon bikes can get very expensive. I mean, $5,000 plus for a bike? Wow. But do you really need all that expensive gear? Watch on to find out. Hey, how's it going? I'm Will from Iron Will Multisport Australia, your place to find tips, tricks and experience in triathlon, multisport and endurance events and training. Triathlon bikes can be the most expensive object in a triathlete's arsenal. But does all that money mean a faster ride? Expensive bikes can definitely make you a little bit faster. They can reduce wind drag, they can make it a little bit lighter, they can decrease rolling resistance, they can make the weight distribution a bit better, they can sit you in a more aggressive setup. So if you are finding that with your training, your times aren't increasing as you would like them to be, then maybe an upgrade could help. But for the most part, your biggest benefit is gonna be found from more training rather than upgrading the old bike. Gear doesn't make a triathlete. You make a triathlete. You and whatever smart training you wanna put in. When I first started triathlon, I had a two-year-old road bike that I was using. This one, in fact. And back then, I didn't have any aero bars, I didn't have any special kit, it was just the basic, standard road bike. For my first Olympic length triathlon, I took this bike and I was overtaking loads of people with expensive and new tri-bikes. After that first triathlon, I managed to get myself injured, so I had to take a couple of years off from triathlon. But once I got back into it, I started using the same bike. So one of the things you can do, instead of buying a completely new bike or buying a triathlon or time trial specific bike, is just to upgrade bits of your bike piece by piece. And maybe even buy things that will help your bike feel like a triathlon specific bike. One of the first things I did when I got back into triathlon was to purchase a cheap set of aero bars. Even just a cheap set, $30 from eBay, can really increase your time. Have you ever used clip-on aero bars? Let us know in the comments below. And the first race that I used these cheap aero bars was the Ironman 70.3 in Western Sydney last year. And they worked amazingly. I think I got around 2 hours 35 minutes and I was passing people on much more expensive and much newer bikes, and it's triathlon bikes as well. And since then, for my 30th birthday and for Christmas, my family got me a pair of a bit more expensive aero bars, so these ones. Also just clip on aero bars, but they're a lot lighter, you can adjust them better. Overall, they're just a slightly better product. They're a better slight upgrade. And as I mentioned before, that's where you should be aiming, is the slight upgrades rather than a purchase of a whole new kit. And certain upgrades will be more beneficial than others. One of the best upgrades I can re recommend to begin with is to make sure that you have clip-on shoes, so the pedals and cleats. Then you can look at getting aero bars, then you can look at upgrading maybe your helmet, this, that and the other little things here and there. And for a lot of triathlons you don't even really need a road bike. When I was doing the Ironman 70.3 last year, I saw someone cycling on a hybrid bike and they seem to be doing pretty well. If you've got a spare mountain bike or whatever lying around, you can use that for the shorter distances, especially for the sprints and Olympics. Or if you can borrow a bike, borrow a road bike even, that would be awesome. When you start to get into the longer distances, it can definitely help to have a road-specific bike. Though one thing is, the Triathlon Australia race competition rules do rule out the use of fixed gear bikes. So those where you can't freewheel, so you can't coast. So really, try and use what you have already. The biggest speed boost you can get will come from more training, rather than purchasing a faster bike. The bike and upgrades, that sort of thing, are great if you're already doing fairly well and you want to add that just little extra couple of percent, that little extra bit of speed. But if you haven't got the training behind you, that expensive gear is going to be crap. It's not going to add anything to your race. And if you are looking to upgrade either your gear or your bike, then there are plenty of ways to save money. One of the best is to buy things secondhand. But if you are biking, buying a secondhand bike, then you want to make sure that the bike fits you. So if you can do a test ride on it, that's a good idea. And if you have the cash and are willing to spend it, then yeah, by all means, go and purchase whatever gear you want. And one of the things they say is that the best amount of bikes to have is N plus one. So however many bikes you have right now, plus one is the best amount of bikes. But I definitely don't have that much cash in the bank. So for me, it's gonna be my 2012 road bike that I bought with clip-on aero bars, maybe a couple of upgrades here and there for the foreseeable future. What bikes have you used for triathlon? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you want to get triathlon content every week from here in Australia and New Zealand, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.
Cheerio.